The entire country waiting on three battleground states to call their election. The presidential election still up for grabs, including Georgia, where Joe Biden is leading by a margin of just 1,500 votes. The Secretary of State gave an update within the last hour, saying they are focused on counting every legal vote and accurately recording it. The stakes are high and the emotions are high on all sides. We will not let those debates distract us from our work. We will get it right and we will defend the integrity of our elections. And we can tell you more than 5 million votes cast in Georgia. And because the margin is within 1,500 votes, very slim, there will be a recount. It's typically a reliably red state that turned blue overnight like that as those mail-in ballots continue to get counted. When you have a narrow margin, little small things can make a difference. So everything's going to have to be investigated to protect the integrity of the vote. Our office intends to do that. And like I said, if you get a wide margin, it doesn't matter as much. Narrow margin, it does. We are literally looking at a margin of less than, you know, a large high school. Now, there are no automatic recounts in the state, but a candidate can request a recount if the margin is half a percent or less. We do expect that will happen, and we should note that this is very normal and typical in close races like this one. Along with Georgia, Nevada and Pennsylvania, still too close to call right now, but Joe Biden is leading the vote count in all three states. Now, the margins are very close, but those mail-in ballots are coming back heavily in favor of Joe Biden. An explanation for this. Now, Democrats told their supporters to mail in ballots early, while Republicans sowed doubt about the integrity of mail-in ballots and told their supporters to vote in person on Election Day.